both Microsoft To Do and Apple Reminders are excellent free to do apps, which you should try before deciding to purchase a Get Things Done app or subscribe to one. Hey guys, it's Uncle Dan back with Paperless X. In today's video, we will be comparing Microsoft To Do to Apple Reminders to see which is a better task managing app. We are going to cover pricing and supported OS, orientation and navigation differences, creating to-dos and lists. We are also going to talk about collaboration, app integration, organization, and lastly searching before we give you the final verdict. Apple Reminders and Microsoft To-Do are both free to-do apps. They both are available on iOS, iPadOS, macOS, and on the web. Microsoft To Do is also available on Windows and Android, which makes it ideal for anyone who doesn't like being restricted to ecosystems. Both apps are minimalist with one screen serving as both the home page and workspace. Their workspaces divide into two columns with sidebars and the bigger columns for displaying your tasks. For both, you can turn your smart list on and off. In Apple Reminders, you can even rearrange them, something you can't do in Microsoft To Do. You can also create your own list in both apps below the smart list. Apple Reminders also uses tags, which Microsoft To Do does not. The look you prefer comes down to personal preference. I found Microsoft To Do's user interface more minimalist, and that makes it look more professional and pleasant to work with. The tabs in Apple Reminders make the app look cluttered. Microsoft To Do has fewer steps for quickly creating tasks. You can name your task, add it to your day, and set a reminder. Apple Reminders has more options for quick tasks. Of course, you don't have to use them all, but you can create more detailed tasks without needing to go to the inspection icon. You can add the due date and time, location, tags, assign the task, flag or add an image to it. Apple Reminders does not have start dates, it only has due dates. For most of these features, you have to tap the task to access them in Microsoft To Do. You can then add subtasks, files and some notes. You can also repeat your tasks. The inspection icon in Apple Reminders lets you add notes. a URL, a messaging based reminder, and priorities. You can add more details to your Apple Reminders than you can in Microsoft To Do. Reminders treats your subtasks as it does with main tasks, so they can each have their own notes and dates, repeat cycle, etc. On the other hand, Microsoft To Do has more format options for your notes. Subtasks and notes are easily accessible in Apple Reminders than in Microsoft To Do. Apple Reminders displays them right below your tasks. 
in Microsoft to do. Its minimalist approach means you must tap your tasks to see their details. You can add multiple URLs to both apps. Microsoft To Do has a better way to package your URLs. Apple Reminders only supports image attachments. In Microsoft To Do, you can add any file type to your tasks. As long as they are 25 megabytes or less. When creating a list in Microsoft To Do, you can name it and choose a theme, color or photo for it. For Apple Reminders, you can name your list, pick a color for its icon and the icon itself. You can create custom smart list in Apple Reminders by choosing a certain number of filters, tags, date, time, location, flag, and priority. Both apps have a three dots icon for editing your list to rename, sort your tasks. You can also select multiple tasks to edit them together. Apple Reminders has more options for editing multiple tasks. Microsoft To Do can move your list from a group. In Apple Reminders, you simply drag into a group. It's useful to be able to duplicate a list or send a copy of it to someone. Apple Reminders limits you to just printing the list, which effectively does the same thing. Microsoft To Do does justice to completed tasks. It ticks, strike out, and move them to the bottom of the list. It can even play a completion sound. The dot and dim for completed tasks in Apple Reminders feels inadequate. The steps for showing and hiding completed tasks is also a bit cumbersome. Microsoft To Do setup is much better for this. Both apps can delete your completed task. Apple Reminders has a specific feature to clear completed tasks. Whereas in Microsoft To Do, you have to manually do it. Both apps don't have a recycle bin, so the tasks you delete will be permanently removed from the apps. You can collaborate on your list from either app by sharing their links. You can then assign tasks to different people on your team. And they can also assign tasks to you. Collaboration is a very important part of our workflow in 2022. It's a must have. We hope to get more interactions for our collaboration store, like comments and the ability to respond to them. Both apps don't have this yet. Microsoft To Do integrates with Outlook. When you flag your emails, they appear in the flagged email smart folder in your To Do app. However, it doesn't integrate with Microsoft Calendar app. On the other hand, Apple Reminders doesn't integrate with both the Mail and the Calendar apps. Both apps have two levels of organization, groups and lists. Apple Reminders also has tags that add a third dimension to how you organize your tasks in the app. Both apps save minimalist organization, which means you can't use them to manage big projects. Both Apple Reminders and Microsoft To Do can search through your tasks. Microsoft To Do is the better of the two apps. That is why our team stopped using Apple Reminders for Microsoft To Do, something we will go through in a different video. Which app will you try to integrate into your workflow? Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.